The best of Bonaire has to include seahorses. So far, we've seen them at Cliff and Yellow Submarine. Day and night. Next week, we're heading out with Yolanda from Beyond the Corals to Chicago for another potential seahorse. No pressure. If you get the opportunity, go fluorodiving at night. You can see the reef in a whole new light, literally. Certain corals and animals have hidden color that are only revealed using special lights and a yellow mask filter. Buddy's reef looks pretty cool under the blue light. Of course, the tarpon were ever present. Too bad they haven't developed a taste for lionfish. This brittle star was out in the open, as were a few spotted moray eels. And this long-spined urchin was out for a walk as well. If you follow this channel, you know we love first-time captures. This little guy is called a velvet shrimp. This is not a conch. Okay, well it is a conch shell, but that shell is really home to a red lip blenny. There was a red reef hermit crab settled in some lobe star coral, and a star eye hermit crab in the shallows. Oh, and there were spotted spiny lobsters, a peacock flounder, chain moray, and a bearded fireworm. Seriously, go on a night dive. We like to joke about the abundance of brown chromas on Bonaire. Why don't we see them on the menu? There's little risk of overfishing, and they look like they would be great appetizers. But seriously, they are a necessary part of the ecosystem. Just as subscribers are to YouTube channels. Consider helping our small channel grow by hitting the subscribe and like buttons. Be our brown chromas. Thanks! Smiley faces. Carpata can get crowded. This group was making their way along the drop-off back to the dive boat. Divers weren't the only creatures in abundance. A large school of blue tang tore through the reef feeding on algae. And they came back for second breakfast. As I was filming the tang, Leslie called my attention to a midnight parrotfish swimming by. This was the first time we've seen one on Bonaire. Flamingo tongues were out in force as well. Here are a couple feeding on the branches of a few sea rods. A bit further up the reef, sea rods were again under attack by five more flamingo tongues. Elsewhere in the dive, Leslie was just shooting some coral, for lack of a better subject matter, when an eel decided to photobomb her. Now there's a better subject matter. The dive ended perfectly for Leslie, with squid. Although the surge might have brought them a little closer than this one liked, they stuck around for a few close-ups. Leslie was on fire spotting critters at Yellow Submarine one morning and wanted to take a crack at the voiceover. So this seemed to be the perfect opportunity to introduce Leslie's voice. Take it away, honey. Thank you, David. As a result of a dead battery, my camera was not functioning on this dive, which gave me more time to observe the marine life around us. As we descended the drop-off, I noticed a couple of Graysbees fighting and called David over to catch the commotion. After a bit of sparring, one appeared to back down. But the standoff actually continued a little further down the reef and eventually ended with both parties going their separate ways. This queen angelfish found something tasty within the territory of a very protective three-spot damselfish. After three separate nibbles, Her Majesty gave up and finally moved on. 
Krylandyke has a number of fishing boats, and occasionally unusable parts of their catch get thrown overboard before docking, which creates an easy meal for other fish. On the way back to shore, we saw a line of what looked like staghorn coral debris. A closer look revealed this juvenile smooth trunkfish swimming through the rubble. And just before exiting, we were circled by a school of hungry white mullets. I hope you enjoyed my turn at the mic today. And if you did, hit that like button to show me some love. Back to you, David. We dove Salt Pier on our anniversary, but conditions were not exactly ideal. Filming the surface from underwater was pretty cool, though. This school of big eye scat in the shallows didn't seem to mind. And another school of blue tang swam right in front of me. Always fun to watch. But the highlight of this dive, aside from Leslie, were a couple of flaming reef lobsters. On the way back, we saw this turtle taking advantage of the murky water in the shallows. We also saw a few palometta, they're the ones with the long fins, swimming with a school of yellowfin mohara and some juvenile horse-eye jacks. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and request notifications for each new release. Thanks! See you next time and be nice to others.